This is our 24th season. We start our season on uh, September 30th with Suzanne Hendricks singing the operatini of Nancy Hill Cobb and some of her favorite arias. And that's going to be at Cedar Ridge Winery. First time we've been there. I'm so excited to be making my debut at Cedar Rapids Opera as the director for the January 2022 production of Cozy Fan Tutte. As I was trying to figure out a concept for this production, I kept on getting stuck in this idea of the contrivance that Mozart and librettist Lorenzo da Ponte have set up for these characters. They're so easily deceived and these very flimsy disguises sort of help these characters get away with a lot. And that's when I thought, this opera has to be set on the set of a cheesy, horrible 80s American soap opera. I have, yeah, great experiences with Cedar Rapids Opera, and I'm so thrilled to be coming back as a lead. I, um, I'm really excited about the opportunity. For our summer production, we're going to be doing uh, Pirates of Penzance, and we'll be doing that with our young artists in Cedar Rapids and in Waterloo at the Amphitheater. We're going to be bringing back our production of Rob Lindsay Nassif's The Flight of the Lawn Chair Man. And that, that will be available both in person and digitally. We are going to do a little twist on our Thursday series. Eric Faring is making his Met debut this year. He and I will be performing the uh, Leader Christ. We'll be recording it in New York. And then in the spring, Jessica Fasselt and I will be doing another Schumann set and we'll be performing it live. All art forms find their home in opera. That's what makes it so complex, expressive. It also then gives it the power to relate in so many ways to audience members. And to me, it is the crown jewel of, of the arts.